What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. It's Katya. In today's long lesson, we're going to learn five super useful expressions that I believe can come in handy when doing a speaking exam, attending a meeting, or making a presentation in English. I think these expressions can improve your fluency and give you a bit of extra time to think about what you're going to say next. Are you ready? If so, open your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. The first expression on my list today is let's just say that. You can use it when you're not giving all the details about something and you want to highlight the most important fact. And now I'm going to give you two sample sentences. The first one, let's just say that sometimes you need to release control and trust the universe. And one more, let's just say that everything turned out better than I expected. Number two, so to speak, or if you will. Here we've got two for one, and you can use these expressions when you're not sure if that's the exact expression or you're expressing something in an unusual or different way. Number one, being mindful is another form of meditation, so to speak. And one more example, a lot goes into running a YouTube channel. It's my baby, if you will. Let's move on to the third expression, for lack of a better word or for lack of a better term. You can use this expression when you speak and suddenly you don't remember or you can't find or maybe simply don't know the right word. Lately, I've watched a documentary series on Netflix about the plane that disappeared in 2014. There are different theories of what could have happened to the plane, and one of them is that the plane was hijacked. It's believed that the hijacker accessed the electronics bay through an unlocked door, for lack of a better term, which is located between the first class and the cockpit. So imagine in this case, I don't know or don't remember the word hatch. So instead of saying through an unlocked hatch, I say door for lack of a better word. And one more example, growth factors strengthen the skin fence for lack of a better term. So imagine in this case, I don't remember the word barrier and I say fence for lack of a better term. Number four, if you think about it or come to think about it. You can use these expressions when you suddenly remembered or realized something. You know, if you think about it, we become wise and mature thanks to hard times. Mark Manson in this book, which I really like, says that our most radical changes in perspective often happen at the tail end of our worst moments. The tail end is a C to noun, which means the final part. And one more example here, Come to think about it, happiness is about appreciating and enjoying the little things. And last but not least, you would think that. It means that it's logical to think that, but it's not necessarily true. The first example, you would think that Spain is much warmer than other European countries in winter, but actually it's quite cold indoors. I'm speaking from experience. And the last example for today, you would think that winning the lottery solves all your problems, but actually it can destroy your life. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this long English bit. I really hope you enjoyed it and found useful and you will use these expressions next time you speak English. Thank you for your attention and your time. Remember that you can catch me on Instagram. Have a lovely day and see you next week. Ciao for now!